I'm Kilroy. God damn it. Ooh, ah. It is time to talk some kayak mods again. I'm excited about this one because Anchor Wizard setup is awesome. I really, really like this on this boat. And uh, one of the best things about uh, the way that I've got this set up is it doesn't put pressure on the gunnels. And uh, man, it makes the Anchor Wizard so much easier to use. So typically, what you're going to do with the Anchor Wizard setup is you're going to have uh, the little chute right here is what they call this that helps keep the anchor uh, in place and organized. Most of the time I've seen people set this up, they go ahead and they, they move it back here to the, the back of the stern, right? One of the things I really don't like about that setup is, number one, you've got to run like pad eyes and everything all the way back, but in particular with the Kilroy, look what's back here, your handle to be able to, to pick up the boat. And you know, this thing is heavy enough you definitely want to have this handle at the back to be able to move the boat around. Anchor Wizard, I just didn't like, because of the way the stern uh, cuts in so sharply, I just didn't like the way that I was going to have to mount the chute on here. So I really tried to kind of find a way to mount this. Originally I looked at not using the chute at all and just, you know, using it with the anchor trolley set up right here that I've got. Um, and I just didn't like the way that performed. I really like the way the chute keeps the anchor quiet and uh, keeps it outside of the boat um, and, you know, makes it much easier and faster to deploy. So I, you know, kind of played around with some different placement ideas. This is some of the HDPE that's been left over from my console build, which you've seen in another video. Uh, and I, I just cut a thinner strip of this and then ran it across here. And one of the things I really like about this uh, is that this is not a permanent modification to the boat whatsoever. You can see I just stuck these two big eye bolts in here. I could have just used regular bolts. I used these giant eye bolts just because I felt like it may be handy to be able to attach something I've got another attachment point basically back here at the boat. You know, if I'm taking this uh, on a camping trip or something, uh, you know, a float trip, and I need to be able to pack some bigger gear here, I've got some good eye points here to be able to do that. And where I've got these placed, there's actually already holes that were drilled uh, in in the, uh, the this like back cockpit section of the gunnel. Like these were already drilled, so I didn't have to do any modifications. I didn't drill into the kayak at all. I just drilled straight down through the HDPE, put a backing nut underneath here, um, put a backing nut, um, you know, on this one as well, and then just tighten these things down with the screwdriver up top. Um, so really easy system. The thing I like about this is the anchor wizard, you know, the more you keep this rope, this anchor rope in line with the reel, the easier it is to crank it back up. When you're having to like run it through a series of eyelets and kind of change that angle of force through you know, uh, those eyelets, it ends up really adding additional drag when you're trying to haul an anchor up. But because of this right here, it's a straight shot. You know, it, it is really, really easy to pull this back up. And you know, as you can tell, this, this does work just fine. Um, you know, when this comes out, it's gonna deploy down and then it is going to reel just right back up. Uh, one of the things too that I do like about how this system sets up um, as opposed to having it either like way up at the uh, you know bow of the boat or at the stern is that if I need to from a seated position I can reach back if, if something goes wrong with the anchor line for some reason it's easy for me to reach back and, and adjust it at the anchor point um, you know if you know, so for some reason this carabiner got clogged or, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I, can, I can play around with this anchor from my seated position by just getting up on the seat and then kneeling and, and leaning back across the seat. Uh, if it was mounted further back here at the stern, there is no way I would be able to reach this anchor if there was a problem with it without getting out of the boat. You're just not going to do it, right? So uh, mounting this here, mounting it where I did, um, it, it really makes it much more convenient. Uh, the other thing I do like about this system is that, you know, uh, these plastic boats, and particularly with the Kilroy, the, the gunnel will flex on this. Um, and uh, again, by, by reducing the strain 
that you have at the reel. Like, because I mean, you can take it and see, and I've got this reinforced, um, and I'll kind of explain how I mounted this in a second. But you can see, like, I've got this reinforced, and even that is still going to put a little bit of stress on the gunnel. If I was running this back through a series of eyelets and it was doing that even more, this is going to be really flexing, especially when it gets hot in the summertime. These boats become more pliable, uh, it's just the nature of a, a roto molded plastic boat. Um, you know, these things are going to get kind of, you know, kind of flimsy in the summertime. I really didn't want to have that stress on, on the gunnel right there, kind of getting pulled, you know, that torsion you have when you're trying to reel this thing in. Look at the way the Anchor Wizard is, is cast and the way the base kind of fits. You know, it, it's got several inches basically where it comes out here on the sides where it's hoping it has a flat surface to be mounted on. With the way that the gunnels work on the Kilroy, and you can see the way that this track was installed from the factory, how you would have to mount this if you didn't use this shim is you would have to put it on the very edge over here of the of the, the casting on the base and the screw hole here. So you would have your, your anchor wizard sitting out, you know, about three or four inches away from the side of the boat out towards the water. And while I don't think that the anchor wizard itself is going to break, uh, what it is going to do is it's really going to flex this gunnel when you're trying to crank this thing in. And so I really like the idea of mounting it on the center one because, I'm like, look, it just makes it a much more stable base to be able to use this. And, and then by using the shim, you also get to redistribute that force back onto this other reinforced section of the gunnel. So it, it really makes this a much more stable way to mount the anchor wizard. Um, I really like this setup quite a bit. Again, these are just some standard bolts that I got from the hardware store. Drilled down into the gunnel and then put that up in. You now, one of the nice things about having like a gunnel system like this is you can just reach right up under. It doesn't take any special equipment or skill to be able to, to modify this. It's just a simple matter of using a drill, um, you know, a, a wrench and a, and a, a screwdriver. So it, it's really a, a simple way to, to mount this to the Kilroy. That's just a half inch HDPE. Uh, you know, if you have another material that's a half inch thick, you can you can also make it out of that. I just really like the HDPE because, of course, it's not going to rot or deteriorate, um, and uh, it was the perfect height for this job. So this is an update to my prior video. I've done an additional modification to this, and I want to show you real quick what that is. And I have uh, essentially wanted to create a slight angle of decline on the Anchor Wizard shoot. And uh, basically just to allow the um, anchor wizard to deploy a little more freely. So it's kind of always at a downward angle. So as soon as you release that handle for the anchor wizard and, and start introducing that, that play in the line, it just wants to shoot straight down. I've also found that it makes it a little bit easier when the shoot is, is back and is, is down in that vertical position. This allows it to kind of pull up and then get on that angle better. So it, it makes it a little bit smoother release and uh, makes it smoother on... Uh, retrieval as well and what I've done is I've just gotten some of the plastic shims the super cheap little plastic shims that you can get from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot any of those places and um, you know you can see I've just drilled just straight down into the chute uh, like I would normally but I just drilled down through uh, those uh, those composite shims and you can see right there on the shims I've got two of them uh, kind of I've got one essentially that I've, I've broken in in half or cut in half and then uh, snapped up underneath there and like I say that does put it on a slight angle of decline uh, so you know when you release the anchor wizard and, and then pull it back up it just makes it a little bit smoother uh, you know I think one of the things I'm gonna do too and in, in looking at this this anchor line I've had this anchor wizard now for about two or three years um, and uh, you know one of the things you can see on that line it looks like it's starting to get a little bit frayed so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, bowstring wax uh, that I've got uh, and, and I'm gonna put that on there uh, at least over probably the first uh, 30 40 feet or so and uh, provide a little bit of extra protection for uh, for that anchor rope um, other thing I've done is I have put a little bit of uh, lithium uh, grease uh, white lithium grease along the chute there as well and you can see a little bit of that sticking up and just to help it uh, move a little bit smoother that plastic that, that's on there uh, sometimes it's um, you know it's pretty heavy duty plastic and it, it has a little uh, has a little bit of catch to it so um, with that that lithium on there lithium grease on there um, that's uh, smooth that out quite a bit on the release and, and um, again the retrieval 
of the anchor. The other thing about that white lithium grease, because it's up in an area where it's not actually touching the water, I'm not as worried about that getting in the water and, and fouling it up and polluting. So uh, and it seems to be staying in place pretty well. That is the Anchor Wizard setup. And if you have not used an Anchor Wizard, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Oklahoma. It's windy every day here. And it's not just kind of windy, it's really, really windy. We're talking, you know, standard in the summertime minimum you're looking at about a 15 mile an hour wind just day in day out um it is um you know like a miracle when we have a day when the wind is, is five miles an hour or less some parts of the country i guess you get those days frequently that's not our fortune here in oklahoma so you've got to have a way to keep yourself um stationary um for me i really like the anchor wizard a lot for that um, as opposed to like a mud stick or some of the other options that you have, uh, like the micro power pole, um, you know, this is 140 bucks, I think, um, you know, it costs nothing to mount. The anchor is cheap. I think these are, you know, nine, 10 bucks. Um, it's literally a fraction of the price you're going to spend on a micro power pole. And unlike the micro power pole, I can use this in 20 feet of water. And there's several of the lakes that I fish around here that, I mean, it, it's not a shallow water environment. You've got, you know, you may be only you know, 20 feet laterally away from the bank, but you may be in 30 feet of water because you're up next to this like canyon wall. Um, and if you need to be able to fish that and control yourself, you know, the anchor is the only way to go. This is so fast to be able to drop this and then deploy this right back up without having to do like a hand crank system where you're, you know, kind of like using like a typical spool or, um, you know, some other type of line management system. Um, the other thing I really like about this is that it, it's fast to deploy. So I can just throw this off the back um, and you know, a couple of cranks on it and it's good to go. Um, the other thing that you really find too is that this system will work over rocks. And, you know, sometimes with the mud stick, you just don't have a surface that you can plant that into the way that you need to. With an anchor, you can. Anchor Wizard, anchor Wizard is by far the best system you can use in terms of efficiency and just speed of, of deploying an anchor and getting it back in. Um, you know, I, I know there's some concerns out there about, you know, uh, using these in heavy currents uh, where, you know, potentially if your anchor gets snagged and uh, you have to deploy, um, have to, to be able to get that loose quickly. Uh, the Anchor Wizard is a little more complicated for that setup. Um, I don't fish that way. I typically don't fish in rivers. That's just not a huge concern for me. And even if that is the case, if you're really panicky, I always either carry a knife or a set of needle nose pliers that will have wire cutters on it. So you can cut this line pretty quickly. You know, obviously it's not going to be a lot of fun to re-spool it, but, but that is an option if you're out there and you need to be able to, to get yourself free quickly. So, love the Anchor Wizard. I think this is the best system I've found for it so far to be able to mount this with the Jackson Kilroy. Uh, and I think this would also really work well with the Kilroy HD as well. So hopefully this has really given you some ideas on the way that you can set up not only just the Anchor, system, anchor Wizard itself and, and whatever anchoring system you have for your boat, but also how to set up the chute. Because the chute is great, it, it keeps the anchor in place, it keeps it quiet, it keeps mess from getting inside your boat. But it is kind of a pain in the butt to deal with if you're talking about just mounting it at the bow or the stern. You know, hopefully this will give you some ideas on maybe how you can modify, um, you know, your anchor wizard setup to work better for your boat and be more efficient without having to do any types of real permanent modifications to your kayak. Thanks. I'm so self-conscious of that kind of stuff. He's like, ooh, that must be a YouTube influencer. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, it's the life of an influencer, honey. You got to get over it. Yeah, I got to accept it. <laughs>